YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps, and I am back with another recycled wax paper napkin envelope. Are you guys ready to see this one? <laughs> Take a look at it. Isn't it beautiful? I used one of the larger, I forget what these are called, but the craft mailers. And you see on this side, I did some collage work. Uh-huh. And this side, I just, this napkin is so pretty. Oh my goodness. This is just gorgeous. Gorgeous with this craft cardstock. Okay, so this video is all about this was making the first time this. I had used this size envelope and this type of envelope with this thingy here right so in this video i am up and i am down <laughs> because i'm like oh my goodness i forgot these steps and i forgot this step but when it was said and done it all worked out and you guys will i take you through just different emotions in this video but when it's said and done it did work out it is beautiful and i will this part has come up a little bit only because i peeled it up i might fuse that again but I will send this to one of my so Etsy I will have customers. all the products that I used linked below, including the napkins that I used, which you can pick up from my Etsy shop. I'll have that linked below. So if you missed my other videos, upcycling envelopes, here's one that I created here because you can make you can make these recycled wax paper napkin envelopes and many different sizes with this one i've added velcro to close it you can click or you know what i'll have you can click right now on the upper right hand screen but i'll also have it linked below and then oh my goodness i made a couple videos sharing how you can make how you can recycle your album pages to create wax paper napkin pockets so I have a couple videos showing this process and feel free to check it out as well. It'll also be linked below. All right, let's go ahead let's get and get it. Once again, I am using my mink machine. I have it set to three. I have my custom carrier sandwich. You can click right now in the upper right hand screen to be taken to that video where I demonstrate how to create this sandwich. And I like to always have my mat open because I work right on my mat. And this is the envelope here. And let's see, let's cut down our heat and bond because the heat and bond enables all the magic. I'm not gonna be precise when I cut this down I will have excess, but I use all of my excess. Now, I do not want my heat and bond to be wider than my sandwich. You don't want any heat and bond to get on your rollers. So always make sure your heat and bond is smaller than your sandwich. Like I do need, this is too long, so I will cut some off. It's real easy to cut through this heat and bond. It cuts with no problem. Now what I'm gonna do, and I should have cut two pieces at one time because I want to beautify the front and the back. And you see how the heat and bond just rolls right off or pulls right off the nonstick liner sheet and I keep my liner sheets, especially the larger ones, because I can use my inks and uh, other wet mediums on them. And when it gets too dirty, I just toss it. Okay, so, you know, we are going to do, no, we're gonna do one side at a time. I was thinking, we're gonna do both sides at one time, but for this technique, it's better to do one side first. Now, you always wanna keep this flap open, you guys. If you do not keep it open, 
it will it'll um, fuse place the heat and bond and I'm going to use the side that has a straight edge flush up against your envelope but you want your heat and bond to be right below the fold you can close it if it's easier for you to align the heat and bond to your envelope but that's kind of dangerous because if you forget if you forget uh oh will this work uh oh you guys I don't think my mat is going to be big enough okay I have a solution okay so you see here with the flap open it's not going to accommodate my entire sandwich this is a no-no you do not want to have any heat and bond outside of your sandwich well I will need to close my let's see if I close my pocket if I close the pocket and cut off the excess heat and bond I should be okay but there is a trick I got to share with you guys and this is my trick you need to use a non-stick liner that's non-stick on both sides I will have these non-stick liners linked below that's very important sometimes you can recycle the liner that's on the heat and bond but for this particular application you can't use the liner on the heat and bond because both sides are not non-stick and you need to have once again a liner that's non-stick for this application so what I'm going to do is cut down a strip of the liner so I can place it on the flap okay so I'm going to place my strip of non-stick right where the flap folds just like that and to secure it down I will use washi tape just to hold it in place to make it easier so now that non-stick liner it's going to protect my flap from fusing because we're going to apply heat and bond on both sides of this envelope okay and it looks like yep my envelope will fit perfectly in my sandwich so now what I'm going to do is cut down my heat and bond to the size of the envelope because I don't want any heat and bond to be outside of my sandwich okay so I've cut my heat and bond down now you could put your envelope in either horizontally or you could do it vertically so I've cut down the sides I'm gonna put mine in horizontally I do have excess heat and bond on the top and bottom but that that don't matter the important step is to make sure I don't have any on the sides okay so it's close you guys with this envelope here but I'm gonna go ahead and close my sandwich and then I could see if I have any excess heat and bond and I have a little bit here now truth be told my machine probably has a lot of heat and bond in it I do clean my rollers but you want to prevent that okay and make sure your heat and bond is flat I'm gonna bring in my machine and let's do our first fuse all right let's pull this out let it cool for a second now if you follow this series and if you saw my last several videos when I made oh by the way I added velcro to my pocket flap when I made this envelope and these wax paper napkin pockets here you know I did this step different from the step in those videos 
when you work with heat collage and with my series, there's, well, you noticed here, I fused the heat and bond right to the envelope without adding any paper napkins. In the other videos, I added the heat and bond and then I placed the napkins on top and then fused it. You could do it either way. I'm choosing to do it this way in this video because I'm working with a larger envelope that's like the size of my sandwich and I'm going to make a collage. All right, so let's listen for the tack, you guys. This is one of my favorite, favorite things with my method. Okay, you want to lift from a corner because we want to pull up the whole piece at one time. And because we have that excess heat and bond, you can just tear that right off. We're going to use this strip. So... Don't throw it out. Okay, and then you can just pull it. And the whole, look at that. Hear that. I love the sound. <laughs> just love that. Okay, and then my, my mat looks really good. I have some heat and bond right there. Just use your fingers. Use your fingers to clean up your, off your liner. And... It went through with no problem, you guys. Okay, and so I have heat and bond on this side already. And you can see my flap did not fuse down because I have that liner there. Now, this is the fun part because we get to create. Create something custom, unique, individual, personalized. And we get to use up our scrap pieces. I have keep my pieces and this is more than scraps too I have some full sheets or half sheets in here but this is where you can take your just take your scraps and create a collage now I'm not going to give this much thought I'm just going to lay down lay down some pieces some pieces I might want to keep large some pieces I might want to tear down, but take all of your snippets. I probably should pay attention to color, right? But I'm not. I'm creating a collage. Now, in this video, I'm only working with paper napkins, but you guys, you know what? You know, I might do an extra step. I started creating like works of art with my heat machine a year ago though the series started like several years ago i just picked up where i left off last year now you can collage you guys more than just napkins once again if you follow if you saw my initial videos you know that i created textiles you guys with this process some beautiful works of art I only want to look this is something else that I made I made this over a year ago I just took snippets of ribbon and paper napkin and a rub on and applied it directly to the heat and bond when I'm ready to use this I can take this sheet and fuse it to whatever I want to fuse it to it's so much going on with this process Okay, I pulled out another drawer. It's not like there should be a drawer. And I think I even have another drawer with just torn up pieces and scraps. They all come in handy. Now, I'm going to fill up my entire envelope. But you can fuse. If I want to fuse this right now to see how it looks, I can. Now, I'm going to place this napkin on top of parts of the other napkins. You know, let's go ahead and do a second fusing. Just to see how this will look thus far. And I see I have some heat and bond 
Oh, you know what? I don't have it turned the same. I don't have my envelope turned the same orientation. So what I'll do is just cut off this excess heat and bond here. Careful not to cut my liner or my envelope. So I'm going to leave this as is. Next time, I got to pay attention to the orientation of my envelope, though. You want to keep it all the same orientation. And while that's going through, I can clean clean up any excess. Okay, this is still bond. slightly warm, but I'm anxious to see how this looks. All right, peel back from the corner. Peel up the excess heat and bond. Oh, hear that sound? Oh, that was a good one there. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, look at that, you guys. Look at that. That is so nice. Ha <laughs> ha! That is so pretty already. And you see how all of the napkins are flat. Though, some napkins were on top of others. Okay, let's continue. First thing is, I'm going to turn my envelope the correct orientation. Okay, let's, you know, let's just lay this over. Because collage is about layering. So we'll layer that just like that. I'm going to tear some of my beautiful, beautiful lace paper napkin, just like that. And let's put some more here. And once again, you guys, my my Etsy shop, I, I have about, I want to say maybe 10 paper napkin bundles between eight and 10 paper napkin bundles. And I still have a lot more to add. Let's put this right here. So all of these napkins, well, most of them you can find right now in my shop. So let's go ahead and fuse this again. And you know, you can fuse and fuse and fuse. You could fuse and fuse and fuse and fuse. And you could still fuse, 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 and fuse. That's the great thing about this process and this method. You can okay, fuse, fuse, it's and fuse. still a little bit warm. But we are going to get started. All right, same old, same old, you guys. Pull back from a corner. Start with your excess heat and bond. Listen for the tack. Oh, it looks so pretty so far. Look at those layers, you guys. These layers, this is beautiful. And we are not done because I do see like here. I mean, I could leave that, but I do want to fill those open spaces. But for right now, we are done with this side. And you know, I was going to cut off the excess, but I'm not going to do that yet because we still need to um, fuse this side. And I'm thinking, hmm, okay. I have my non-stick liner. All right, you guys, here. this is what we're going to do. I've cut down my liner sheet and I'm going to remove my washi tape. Uh-oh. Now the washi tape tore part of my envelope, but it's okay because we are going to cover that up. And you might wonder, well, washi tape is not supposed to tear. It's the heat. The heat application makes the washi tape bond a lot stronger. So that's the reason why that's ripping. But it's a-okay. All right, so I've cut down my heat and bond, right? And we are going to place the heat and bond completely over this side of the envelope. Now, this is the side that has the little metal buckle and I'll just have to figure out that after the fact. I do have an idea to get over. Well, well, I'll talk about that when I get there. But 
keep your flap down with your liner. That's very important. And place the heat and bond right on top and fuse. Okay. I'm anxious to see how this is going to come out because, once again, this is the first time I'm working with this size and type. Okay, of it's slightly warm and it feels so good because the last week we have had rain. Oh my goodness, right now it's a little bit, uh, the sun is out, not fully out, but I think it's going to rain again. So it's been chilly. I am not complaining though because we've had a beautiful spring and this is, in my opinion, the way it's supposed to feel in spring. A little chilly in the morning and at night and then get sunny during the day. Okay, let's see here. What side? All right, let's turn it this way. Sometimes I confuse myself. My white liner is the bottom liner. Okay. Now this is the first side that we did and it's so pretty. All right, let's peel back the liner on this side. And if I wanted to, you know, let's cut. Let's go ahead and get this cleaned up. I'm going to cut right along the edge. Careful not to cut my, my envelope. I mean, if I did, I could still use this as a pocket, but I just wanna be careful. And this is where you want to go slow. Don't rush. And you know, I need to put my glasses on. Okay, now I have them on. Don't get too scissor happy either. Now, if I happen to cut through my envelope, I'll just stitch. I'll stitch it back up, right? Okay, you guys. All right. This is the side we are working with. Let's peel back this liner. Just like that. And <laughs> this is the part here. I, I mean, I knew it wasn't going to bind, but sometimes I cringe because I just don't know. So I don't think I want to make a collage necessarily. I want to speed this video up. So what I'm going to do is get a full size napkin and work, work from there. Is take some washi tape and peel back these layers. Napkins, most napkins have at least two layers. But it seems like this one has just one layer. I think. And you could peel them. No, it has two layers. And you could peel them both back at one time. Keep the liners, you guys. I stamp on mine. I, oh, I do several things with mine. And sometimes you can still see, like you can barely see the image there. But sometimes you do get a dark enough image to use it. So this is a beautiful napkin and I'm going to cut it down. You know, if I wanted to, too, I'm not gonna do it though. You know what, should we do it, you guys? Should we do it? I can fold back the excess like that. You guys want to see how that's going to look? Or do you think I'll mess it up? I mean, I could do it and it will fuse. I'm curious. Like, look at that. You know what? Let's do it. What the heck, right? I love to try different things, which is how I came up with this series. Think outside the box. Sometimes it's good to be unconventional. Okay, I was going to leave <laughs> leave this excess. Cuz sometimes I do that too. It don't have heat and bond on it. But let's trim it and let's see 
how this turns out. This might be, well, we have one more fuse on the other side and then we'll be almost done. All right, slightly warm, but... Oh, look at you guys. This is beautiful. Oh my goodness. It's like this process makes the napkin come to life. This is beautiful. Oh my, oh my, this is so pretty. You guys, this is just, oh, I love this napkin. I'm not even sure where I got this one from. Perhaps it's imported. Okay, and this is the other side. Okay, it fused, you guys. But I noticed with, the, with this one that I folded over, it's not, it's fused, but it seemed like it's parts of it that's a little puffy, but it's all flat. It's just not as flat as, like you can see it here. You see the layered napkins? You see when I bend it like that, you see the wrinkles there? That's because it's layered. And you know, so if you do layer your napkins, um, two layers, it still should be flat. But if not, it'll look like that. But I like that. That's texture. And if you want to, like what I've done previously, you can get like a sander and you can sand away some of that. Oh, but this is pretty. And I love, I love folding this with the bird cages. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so we need, <laughs> we still have to clean up. You know what? Let's go ahead and and do that nope nope not gonna do that yet what I'm going to do though is find the side that has the flap and you just fill it and it's this side here and then you could actually see it here so what we need to do is open up that flap right so I'm going to use a knife and gently See, I didn't consider this part when I fused the flap all in one piece. I hadn't thought of this. So what you could do, I mean, you could do it this way, but you could also do it the way I did in my other videos. Fuse the flap separately. But once you get, it's not difficult, actually. Once you get a corner up, well, if you want, I guess I could use a ruler too. I want to make this as neat as possible. So I'm not cutting down with much pressure. And you know, that's okay. You could see where I actually use the ruler. I, I have a better, um, a better cut versus there, but that's okay. The important thing is the flap opens. Yes. Okay. And so you see here, I have some fusing. And now if I want to, I could fuse the open flap as well. Let's remove the flap or the liner. Just gonna peel it back like that. Okay, so I didn't consider this part. Now I have to figure out how. Oh, I know how to do it. See, yes. We'll just put the liner. After I clean this edge, we're gonna fold the liner the opposite way. So I'll clean up this a little bit more, but to fuse this part, so we're not done fusing, is take the same liner, but first peel back this because this is now washi, right? Washi bond. So here what I'll do is put the liner here, just like that, and fold it back like that, lay it down that way, and now I can add more heat and bond 
So I'm going to lay down my heat and bond and it will be wider than this open space, but that's okay. This part here, I don't want to add heat and bond to the top part. So I will have some, some natural color of the envelope showing and that's okay because we can use we can sponge that a different color but I'm just gonna lay down my napkin like that and do well we have one more fuse after this one and you can put in your sandwich upside down okay you guys do so I just took it out and you see how the the heat machine didn't affect the excess napkin hanging over. Sometimes I just get lazy. I recommend if you're just starting off though, do everything perfectly as far as don't leave any excess. But I've been working with this for so long. Um, I kind of know what will work and what won't work. All right, but let's see if this worked, right? Okay. Oh, look at it, you guys. I still have to clean it up and you can see here my it still opens like it's supposed to but this is so pretty the birds and the bird cage and then you know let's just uh oh you guys I'm kind of scared because my liner shifted oh okay yeah you see that my liner shifted and this side darn it I made it all the way to the end right Oh, this is fused, you guys. Why did that fuse or why did it shift? Well, that's something you want to be aware of. I'm not sure if I did it. It shifted because of how I put the sandwich in the heat machine. But I am going to make this work, even if part... Part of it rip I got to get this open at all cost any means necessary okay not not too bad right not too bad of course the liner nothing stuck to it but oh this is pretty I'm so happy uh oh wait a minute wait a minute Oh no, will I be able to get it open? Because this part, oh my goodness. I did all of this and missed the one step that I have taught you guys. Oh, okay. This is just gonna be a beautiful, this is not an envelope, it's not a pocket. I missed one fatal step. I'm going to share this video anyway, you guys, because I could be a ding dong. I did all that work. And you know, in my other videos, I, I say this over and over again. The one thing I forgot to do, you guys, is I was supposed to add a liner inside of the envelope. And I forgot to do that. So... Though I added the liner to the flap and the flap opens, it opens to what? Because I can't put anything in it because I have no liner inside. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. So the first thing you want to do, people, is cut down the liner that's nonstick on both sides like this once again linked below and put that inside of your envelope before you get started that's so important oh my well I'm gonna clean this up anyway and make it a page yeah in my personal my personal journal Oh, darn it. I went through all that. Well, you know, it happens. It happens when you're learning something and you're like me and you forget. 
yeah, it's bound to happen. Maybe I'll make a big forget me not type card and hang it up somewhere here. But anyway, this this is beautiful. It will work. Hope you guys have learned something. I'm still going to share this video because it's about not only sharing what works, but sharing mistakes too, right? And then I'll just peel, peel this back. Oh, you guys, I'll be back to make another one of these. And look, oh, wait a minute. No, oh my goodness. What is, oh, I'm shocked. I, <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, you guys, it didn't fuse and I didn't have a liner in it. Oh my goodness. You guys, I told you I'm a ding dong. Some of you guys may have caught that. Oh my goodness, I am a certified ding dong. My husband is right. He's dodo and I'm ding dong. Oh my goodness. Now, you guys, I don't know why. Well, let me grab, okay, let's go back to these. I made these pretty much the same way as the larger envelope. I forgot to add my liner and it fused together. You see the flap there. And I made that mistake three times. By the way, isn't this lace napkin beautiful? You could pick it up, you guys, in my shop. And I believe these are now discontinued by the manufacturer. So what a bummer, right? If not all three, two of them are. Okay, so all of these fused because I kept forgetting to put the liner in. Well, I did not put a liner inside of this envelope and it didn't fuse. And I'm thinking because the paper is much thicker and stronger than this type of paper. So if you use the brown craft envelope, you know what? And if you use this one, you won't need to add a liner inside. That's good news. That's great. Oh my goodness. Oh, I was scared twice. I was scared about the flat ceiling. And you know, let's fold this back the right way. And then scared about the whole thing just fusing together. I was going to use this, you guys, as a page. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. Now, if I want, I could... Oh, we have to figure out... You know what? This is not going to be a problem at all. We need to open this up and I'll just peel back that. No problem. So when it closes, just like that. Oh, it worked. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now let's all clean right, it guys, up. We are going to rubber stamp, right? Because when I think of collage, I think of rubber stamping. And I'm using Stazon ink. It's a permanent ink. And I just chose at random a stamp. It's a heart stamp, but we love hearts all year. And I've added that there. Okay, not bad. Not bad. And you know what? I can continue to go on and on and on with the stamping, but I'm going to stop right there to add our, our label, right? The to and from. Now you could use your white standard labels, but I recommend, I mean, this is too pretty to use something cheesy. You could pick up these washi wraps from Tuesday morning or I am going to link link these so check my description box I'll just put it right there and we do need to do one final fuse so I need to put my liner back in here okay this is still warm but I am so anxious I'm anxious to be done and over because this particular envelope it's taken me through a cycle of emotions okay you guys this is how this is how it looks let's open this up 
It did not shift. Woohoo! Thank you, Jesus. Okay, and so I'm done with the fusing, you guys. I, I don't know if I necessarily like this color of label here, but I like this side better because this is just so pretty. I mean, collage is pretty too, but this side, it just steals my heart. This is so pretty. I love, you know, like I said, the napkins tend to come to life with my heat collage process. Okay, you guys, I have a lot of videos in my series, not just working with the envelopes or the recycled album pages, but I have created works of art, textiles. I call them sacks, and I can't think of the other name. But anyway, I break all that down in my other videos. Feel free to check those videos out. If I remember, I'll have a playlist of videos in my heat collage series. But this is fun, you guys. This is fun. Oh, I still got some cleaning to do here. Right? Um, if you like this video, why not show that you like it and like it also subscribe feel free to adopt any of my ideas i only ask for proper credits do give shout out and do link back to this video feel free to share this video once again check out the links in my description box leave your your comments i know some of you have mentioned that you can't wait to make your own well i'm interested in your results so if you adopt my idea why not leave links to pictures of what you've created or videos or feel free to just tell me what you created yeah all right you guys i oh, this is so pretty oh okay i have to make one like this in this exact same color using this napkin for myself this is gorgeous <laughs> All right, you guys, I want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings. I'm back, you guys. Okay, I want to share a couple things with you. I decided to cut my envelope down in size. And that's a great idea because, well, if you want to create multiple pockets. like So I've cut down these. I sliced it just like that. And then I stitched down here. And so um, I have an actual envelope here, and then I have a pocket here. Now I can take my circle punch and create create a notch on the side of my choosing, like I've done here, and with all of my um, recycled album page pockets I've made. Not going to do that just yet because I don't know what I want to do. Because if I want to, I can slice this in half and get two pockets. Of course, I would have to stitch the side. And for this one, too, if I want to, I could slice this in half and get two more pockets or envelopes, right? Of course, I would have to stitch the sides as well. But I want to also show you. So I've been peeling back some of the layered paper napkin. And if you don't like that look, like you can see here, I like the textured look. It just adds interest. But if you don't like that, I want to quickly show you how you can fix that. But we need to add our nonstick non -stick liner back back under the flap because we don't want I don't want this to fuse okay and then see I have excess there and there I'm gonna leave that because it adds character but if you if you want that back flat again well what you can do is just take heat and bond and I've already added my label and by the way you can lift your label off your napkin, but you will tear some of your napkin. That's after you fused it. But if you wanted to lift up the label, just reapply more heat and bond and more napkin and you can cover up. You can cover up your mistakes. That's the point. Okay, so I'm going to layer this heat and bond over, over part of the label. And let's see. 
add a piece of napkin and let's let's fuse that fuse it one final time and I okay, shall so I did decide to slice slice it in half and stitch down the side to create and you see how this little part right here lifted that's because I layered a napkin on top of another napkin now if I want to I I could leave that or I could apply heat and bond over it to seal it down but I'll just rip it like that and take my I gotta get my punch but I also stitched this side here and now I have two additional pockets and I could choose to make a notch you know I want to use this eh, I'll use this side you want to center your punch as perfect as you can just like that and now I have a little pouch slash pocket I'll do that one later because we got to see the final this is the final fuse you guys though I can fuse 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 let's see if we get that tack not a whole lot because I only added a little bit of heat and bond okay yeah it did not it didn't shift so I still have my flap and I will need to lift up the little hook part there let's just go ahead and close it like that okay and so you see here how I've added more heat and bond I'll just clean up the edge and yeah okay you guys this will do it for me I'm really done this time so I will mail this one to my Etsy customer just the way it is I'm gonna leave the threads loose and she can take pleasure in cutting them off or leaving them but I love this and I love how you can create one large envelope and cut it down to make smaller envelopes and pockets all right you guys want to thank you all for watching again as always blessings